So Goldie Blocks is a book series and construction kit combined. And the inspiration for it um, came from the woman who founded our company. Her name's Debbie Sterling, and she's a Stanford engineer. And it always bothered her how few women were in her program. So she decided she wanted to do something about it. And in sort of poking around and doing some research, realized that girls tend to lose interest in math and science, which are really the building blocks of engineering at around age eight, um, which is pretty scary. Um, an interesting fact is that only 14% of engineers are women. So there has to be some correlation there. Um, so kind of set off to, to discover why this might exist and went to the toy store because where else do kids go? Where like, you know, kids are so heavily influenced by the things that they play with. Um, and walking into a toy store can be a pretty startling experience. You have the blue aisle over here, the boys aisle, which is actually a rainbow of colors and it has science kits and Lincoln logs and connects and Legos and all of this awesome stuff. And then there's the pink aisle. Um, and the pink aisle is basically just full of princess and pony and makeup and high heels and, you know, basically just a bunch of toys that talk about how girls look, but not a whole lot of things that encourage them to think. Um, and certainly not much that encourages them into STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, so we really thought, well, this must be the key. Um, and in doing our research, realized pretty quickly that girls tend to have a lot more confidence in their verbal skills, so reading and writing, than they do in their spatial skills, so building things, um, and really wanted to leverage that to give girls the confidence to, to build. So girls love reading, and we want to get them building, so decided to put those two things together, um, and that's how Goldie Blocks was born. So it's a book series and construction kit combined, starring this girl Goldie, who's our kid inventor, um, and she has a, this big group of friends and they go on adventures and they have to build simple machines that represent, you know, the fundamental simple machines in engineering um, to solve problems. And as girls read through the book, they build what Goldie builds using the pieces that we give them in the kits. Um, and it's been really fantastic. I mean, just seeing girls really relate to Goldie as a character um, and really watching them get engaged in this narrative and having that sort of give them the confidence to move forward. It gives girls a why. Why am I building this? Um, instead of just build this, it's build this to help, you know, the dog chase his tail. And that makes all the difference for girls. Um, I have two young boys, and when they build things, their experience is build the tallest tower possible, knock it over, lather, rinse, repeat, and that's all they need. But it's so obvious that girls need a purpose for what they're doing. When we initially got started, we decided to test this concept on Kickstarter. Um, and it was really a way to sort of combat this idea that we'd heard over and over and over in the toy industry that construction toys for girls don't sell. Girls don't like building things. Girls like princesses and ponies. Um, but you know, we believed that girls deserve so much more. So we put this idea up on Kickstarter. We had a single prototype. We shot a video in Debbie's apartment on her floor, just basically asking the world to help us get this toy to girls everywhere. Um, we set a goal of $150,000, which was incredibly aggressive. We were like sweating the whole time before we hit the, the green button um, to start the campaign. But we thought, well, we really want to be able to make this should our project get successfully funded. Um, we had 30 days to do it. We were planning on pounding the pavement, like calling our grandmothers. Like basically everyone we'd ever met was gonna get a phone call, an email about Goldie Blocks asking them to help us get there. And the amazing thing was that we got funded in four days, um, which just blew us away and, and really felt just so exciting and important knowing that so many people out there wanted more for their girls. Um, so we set off running. In the past two years, we've gone from a Kickstarter project to international distribution. Um, we won a Super Bowl commercial this year from Intuit, the makers of QuickBooks. They had this contest to put a small business on the big game, and we won. So this past February, Goldie Blocks and Little Girls Building were blasted into the homes of 111 million people. Uh, that moment was so exhilarating for us and, you know, really proves that we're onto something. I'm Lindsay Shepherd, 
VP of Sales and Marketing, Rainmaker, and Mom in Residence at Goldie Blocks. Connect with me on Gen Connect.